to Jesper Olsen and he's beaten him and that was a firm cross, Kevin Moran was there from Waddle corner taken quickly to Glenn Hoddle and here's Roberts and Turner saved it, Allen! oh goodness me, the goalkeeper was let off the hook there Turner escaped because when Allen closed in he couldn't finish what Roberts had started Tottenham almost scored there in the first minute the cross came in from Hoddle watch Roberts the number four he got a header in, Turner couldn't hold Allen hit the post and Robson forward again here and the foul was by Gary Mabbott they won't have Stapleton's head to aim at today but Moran and McGrath have both made their way forward White side. Well, it was as a striker that Norman Whiteside first burst upon the scene as a 17-year-old. Indeed, he was only 16 when he made his debut, but uh, he played up front in the uh, 82 World Cup, and he's back there today. John Severbeck into Strachan from Whiteside another free kick Glenn Hoddle in the tackle this time again the lineup on the far side Whiteside Moran McGrath Robson to Davenport, Olsen, it's going to come to Strachan, a chance, and a goal! Whiteside, Whiteside got it. 12 minutes gone, and he comes back as a striker and opens the scoring. It was tucked in low in the end to Davenport, Olsen let it run, Strachan played it through, Whiteside ran in, and Manchester United have taken the lead. I would think Alec Ferguson is taking a lot of uh, joy out of this one because it's something which has obviously been worked out on the training grounds for a long time. Moran again. Oh, and Moran goes on. Chance for the centre-back to score. And he fails to take it. Kevin Moran put clean through by Davenport. Only the goalkeeper to beat, but a defender doesn't often find himself in this privileged position. And he didn't quite apply the forwards finish, but it was close. Yeah, typical defender there. He took it on a yard too far, really. He started this move off, gave it to Davenport, got it back. He possibly should have had a go now, well, a yard before that, and he just missed. But what a great run and uh, a warning for Tottenham. They're not picking people up who are coming from the back. This is Moses. Tucked away by Strachan there for Sieberbeck. He got away from Galvin. In the middle, Davenport and Whiteside. Davenport. Robson's behind him. Corner. Clements coming for it through a crowd of players and Ardiles once again smooth things down for Spurs but uh, Roberts certainly doesn't Duxbury, Strachan, right side clipping the ball about nicely now United Davenport and Mabbott oh they got caught again and it's there Peter Davenport has made it 2-0 and little 
Well, Gary Mabbott did press ball, and little Paul Allen, I think, was also involved in the error. It was Mabbott who headed the ball out, and what happened here was that Allen let Davenport come right in past him, and he also got the ball past Clements from a very narrow angle, and it's 2-0 to Manchester United. Still Waddle. That's gone. Corner. Tottenham need to get something off the set piece, I think, John, because their approach play isn't getting them as far as the penalty area at the moment. Well, they've got uh, Mabbott, Goff and Roberts all positioned on the far side of the area here. Mabbott! That is a terrific goal, and this player, he's all-purpose. A brilliant header by the England international Gary Mabbott. Probably more spectacular than the one he got against Yugoslavia. What a powerful effort that was. 57 minutes gone, nobody picked him up, but my word, that was an inspirational goal for Tottenham. Also been suffering from a bad cough and cold this week, Gary Mabbott, but uh, a very big breakfast this morning at the Tottenham Hotel seemed to help him to shake that off. He's quite an eater too. Here's Hoddle eating up the ground for Tottenham. Good effort, oh. and Turner flat, and an own oh. goal, Kevin Moran. Spurs are level, and Glenn Hoddle created this. He tried to chip the keeper, Turner flaps, and watch Kevin Moran here. That has to go down as an own goal. It's 2-2. Hoddle, who saw the possibility, forced Turner to make an awkward-looking save. The ball came back behind him. Kevin Moran could have got it out, and he put it in. Hoddle. It's too long for Paul Allen. Duxbury was the player who conceded the corner. The who picked Mabbard up this time, John? Waddle. Oh, and Allen went in. It's a goal. Well, Waddle curled it in. Allen made absolutely sure it went in the net. But I just want to see that one. Again, as to how close to the line he was. Waddle curved it in, and Allen went in. Whether he'll claim that, strikers usually do from there. And Clive Allen closed in here, and I've got a feeling Clive will say that's his 22nd of the season. If you got kicked in the head, you'd want to claim it yes, as well. Yes, <laughs> he certainly would. 73 minutes that's gone. That's where strikers on the corner, when the boot is literally flying towards your face and you put your head there and you claim the goal uh, I'm sorry but Mr Turner's got to have another look at his position and uh, possibly that corner was taken too quickly for Manchester United who were possibly looking to see who was picking Mabbitt up as a result of the last corner they took a short one and they whipped it over before they were ready for it and away goes Chris Waddle Graham Roberts is well forward in the centre here, so too is Clive Allen. This is Hoddle. I think he just fancied the, to chip the goalkeeper there. Turner was just a yard or two out of his ground. And Hoddle's already half done that to some effect, which led to the own goal. Here's Strachan. Oh, and here's Robson. Penalty, is it? Brian Robson brought down by Danny Thomas. And just waiting for the confirmation, but it looks like a penalty to me. Robson here was in a good position, and he was checked, Laurie. Yes, definite penalty. Uh, Brian Robson must be very tired, he's been out injured for a while, but he's 
nature is to continue to battle on and get into that penalty area and he got in there and the defender never went for the ball he stumbled into him and the referee never hesitated so the responsibility falls to Peter Davenport with two minutes to go Clements was so, so unlucky. Davenport struck it well, but the Tottenham goalkeeper went the right way. Just see how near he was to pulling off a save. He got both hands to it, but couldn't keep it out. The power took it in. Well, if they play like this, then the crowds will come back to football. It's a match that's kept us on the edge of our seats from the moment Clive Allen hit the post in the first minute to the moment Davenport put that penalty in in the 89th. 3-3. Sieverbeck. We're going into stoppage time now. It's a match, I think, as well, which has made Peter Davenport a lot more popular with the supporters. He's had a good game and that took a lot of nerve to take that penalty at this stage of the game. And Kevin Moore will be a relieved man, I would think, at this moment. Here's Moses. Down the years, very few clubs have provided better entertainment when they've met than Spurs and Manchester United. And this match goes down in that particular hall of memories.